I'll take what you like. I'm taking a kick in and I deserve it. There's a firestorm raging out there and it's been very difficult to step into the middle of it. Look, there are two sides to every argument. We are losing at the moment and, and quite rightly, we're getting a pasting. There's a lot of angry people out there. There are two sides to this. Please, we've, we've aired one a lot. Let's hear the other one a little bit. There are some dark forces at work here. Many of the people that I've been sitting, reading, who have been making judgments on me, I know very well. Very well. I rang on behalf of Andy and myself Sunday afternoon. I made it an official apology, which Sean accepted. She and I enjoyed some banter together. I was wrong. Andy was wrong. We were both wrong. Our prehistoric banter is not acceptable in a modern world. Rio, are you telling me it doesn't take place in the Manchester United dressing room? Because my information is it does. Sure. You know, it, it doesn't really matter what I feel, does it, about me? It, you know, it's an irrelevance. I, I, anything I say now, you'll get another text in a minute saying, ah, oh, he's whining about himself. I'm not. It doesn't matter. I tried to ring Karen twice on Sunday night. She didn't answer the phone. There is no answer phone. So I text her in case she saw a number she was unfamiliar with and didn't want to answer it. I said, Karen, it's Richard Keyes. I very much need to talk to you. Could you please take my call or ring me back? I tried to ring her to say sorry and she didn't take my call. If, if operating in the manner that I do, staying away from red carpets, staying away from tweeting, staying away from blogging, keeping myself to myself for my family, if that's aloof, I'm guilty of that as well. I, I have found the reaction to, to be extraordinary. If off-air conversations of television and radio presenters were recorded up and down the country, there'd be no one left working. I cannot believe the frenzy that's blown up. If I'd been in a position to be able to, 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 to get out the fact that I'd said sorry on Sunday, I don't think it would have done. I think people would have understood. We were wrong. It was wrong. It shouldn't have happened. We did the best. We, we got people to air that were able to relax and, and enjoy an afternoon as though they were sitting in their own lounge. There are approaching 500 messages on there from different people, many good friends in Fleet Street who I grew up with, saying, I can't believe what's going on here, son. We've done an awful lot to make Sky a success. There's many people drinking from the well that we dug and enjoying that hmm. success. There's a row raging at the moment about the invasion of privacy, phone tapping. Um, understandably. What's the difference? I'm not. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I said to you, I'll stand up and have done. I'll take it. I have been doing so. So is Andy. Shocking. Horrible. Out of order. Wrong. Um... Old-fashioned, no place. Behavioural problems that need to be attended to, yeah. Um, reconstruction, yeah. There were individuals at Sky who I made aware very quickly that I had made that call. And I was amazed that it took until 5 o'clock on Monday for the Premier League, as it turned out, to make a statement to say, I'd apologised. It, it shouldn't have happened, you know. It shouldn't have happened. It, it, it's, it's something that um, I'm, I'm, I'm enormously... Um, upset about, not for myself, for others. Let's not identify the news organisation. There's a strap running at the moment. Richard Keyes publicly apologised for his part in sexism row. But I did that very early. It's just being reported today as though I've just got round to doing it. And it's going to take a, 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 a lot more than me sitting here behind this microphone today saying, look, I'm a changed man. Um, there's work to do, of course there is. There's, there's a process to undergo and um, I am happy to undertake it because it would be the right thing to do. And I looked at it and I scratched my head and I thought, you fool. Sorry, not just to the individuals we immediately offended, but to the far greater viewing and listening public. To all those who have been offended, I'm, 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 I'm taking a battering. I, I'm not complaining about that. I re reiterate, I deserve it. We deserve it. She knows, and so does everybody else, what a mess they made of trying to appoint Martin O'Neill. And she was getting it in the neck. Now, she claimed that was because she's a woman. That is her view. It's not necessarily mine. It might be that others don't share that either. But she played that card. I accept it was wrong. Please accept my apology. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for Sean Massey. I'm not sorry for myself. And we all collectively held our breath when, when, when that first decision was made. And if she'd got that wrong, heaven forbid. This shouldn't affect her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. It was wrong. I've apologised. I apologised to Sean Massey. I've done it again and again and again today. These, these boorish and bullish guys 
um, understand the magnitude of what happened. Sorry, um, not for myself. Uh, we got it wrong. Bad. Nah, it's wrong. 